London's transport chief has warned that the capital faces the biggest challenge in its history, with millions expected to descend on the city in the coming days. With me now is travel journalist and broadcaster Simon Calder. Simon, what can we expect for travel at the weekend? Very good question. It's already extremely busy. I'm here at London Waterloo, which is the busiest railway station in the UK. And all afternoon, trains have been bringing people in from Surrey, from Berkshire, from Hampshire, from Wiltshire, from Dorset. Um, many of them are simply here, I've been talking to one or two, uh, just because they want to get the atmosphere in the capital. They want to see the floral tributes. They want to see the famous queue, of course, which is stretching away along the uh, South Bank and as you say it's extraordinarily uh, busy and the warning is from the Transport for London Commissioner Andy Byford um, really be prepared for crowds for some stations being partly open some being uh, closed I've been round a number of mainline rail stations and while Coming into London by train is most certainly the way to do it. Uh, there's all sorts of systems in place. And simply moving around the centre of the capital. Well, if you're a Londoner, or indeed if you're a regular visitor to the London, then um, whatever your journey is, if it involves central London, assume it's going to take two or three times longer than normal, simply because there's many roads closed off, many buses actually at a standstill. The tube is running well, but uh, it is filling up. And I think this is a story we will see right through till Monday. And now actually the train companies are getting concerned about what's going to happen immediately after Her Majesty's funeral on Monday. The concern is that everybody who's been in London paying their respects will immediately want to leave by their nearest um, mainline terminal. So it uh, could be busy. If you possibly can stretch your journey, Great Western Railway, East Midlands Railway, lying on trains all through Monday night to get people to Leicester, to Derby, to Bath, to Bristol. And so the unions, have they had the sense not to, uh, not to schedule any strikes over this period? Well, there was due to be a national rail strike today. Um, that's what I thought I'd be talking to you about. In fact, it's been deferred and we are expecting a large shutdown two weeks today, Mon uh, Saturday the 1st of October, day before the London uh, Marathon, and also the day before the Conservative Party conference. Uh, the unions Timing haven't announced there. those, but the tra train uh, operators have. Yes, that's a quite clever timing, I would say, from the unions who are battling with the uh, Conservative government to try and make uh, getting to the party conference as difficult as possible. Just very quickly, how are the hotels? The prices must be obscene. Almost everything has sold out. There is still one five-star hotel quite close to Buckingham Palace. Got a room tomorrow night, standard double, £1,550. If you want a budget hotel, I'm afraid they all seem to have sold out days ago. Um, good luck, everybody, and I uh, hope everyone gets where they need to be. There are trains overnight at St Pancras and at King's Cross Station, so-called welfare trains, where people can just go and sit and be comfortable, and that's not going to cost you anything.